Welcome to another quick app for kids lesson. I will show you how to make a cute little ladybug. We will start with the body by using the add material tool. Click on the screen to make one ball. Then switch off add material. The best way to print this and to attach it to something is to have a flat back. Select one of the faces by clicking on it. Then select Sharpen from your Heads Up toolbar. Push it in slightly using your blue arrow. Click on your View button and change to a front view. Remember the flat side should now be at the back. You can zoom out using your mouse wheel. I want to make the head now, so use the Select Body tool to select the ball. And we will copy this ball by holding in control and then dragging over the copied ball using the arrows. You can shrink it using your yellow scale handle and position it with your arrows. Then I will change to a side view by clicking on the view tool and selecting a side view. We need the head and the body to line up perfectly. So use the select body tool to select the head then use your arrows to line it up. It should be one perfectly straight line. Now we can start with the legs. Change to a front view and click on add material. Start by putting four blocks next to each other And then one at the bottom. Now we need to sharpen the back of the leg so that we have a flat surface. So while holding in your right mouse button you can rotate your screen. Turn off add material then while holding in control select the back faces. When you leave control your heads up toolbar will appear where you can select sharpen. Use the view button again to get a straight front view. Now we need to shrink the leg be careful not to make it too thin or it will break easily once it's printed. So I made a mistake here. The back faces were still selected when I pressed that. So I will just use my undo button, then click on select body and then on the leg before I shrink. Now we need to line it up from the side, so go to a side view and make sure it lines up perfectly with the body. It's always better to zoom in. Ladybugs have six legs, so we will copy this leg over for this side and then create a mirror image of the legs on the other side. Use the select body tool to select the leg. Then while holding in control, drag over the copied leg with your arrow. Now we need to rotate these two legs that we just copied. By clicking on the circle around the dot, your rotation circles will appear. Then you can click and drag on the circle to rotate it. Then use your arrows to position it. Make sure the legs are inside the body and then we will repeat this process on the other side by starting to add material again. I will put this leg on top of the other one to try and get the same size. I 
Okay, let's rotate and sharpen the back. When you are done with the legs, you can move on to the eyes. Click on the shapes button and select the ball shape. Go to a side view to bring it forward. And then you can size and position your eyes by using your yellow scale handle and your arrow. Go to a side view to push the eye into the head. Push it in about halfway. Now I can copy this eye over to the other side. Let's add some fun dots to the body. I will copy over the eye again and bring it forward. Now you can copy and place the dots in any pattern you like while keeping the front view I will add six dots but you can add more or less if you wish. You can also change the size if you would like. Now I have to rotate the bug and push the dots halfway into the body. When you are done, make sure you have a straight front view. The last element we should add are the antennas. We will select the cylinder shape for this. Shrink it until you have the desired thickness that you would like. Be careful not to make it too thin or it will break once it's printed. The antenna should be a little bit longer, so I will show you how to elongate them. Rotate your view slightly, use your select body tool to select the cylinder, then turn off these two scale handles, and then we will use the remaining scale handle to elongate it. Now we just need to rotate it. We will align the backs again with the side view.
then go back to a straight front view so we can copy it over. To add the little balls at the ends, we will copy the head and shrink it because the back is already flat. Go to a side view again to align it. Then we can copy it over. Remember to change the title of your project so that it is saved onto your My Projects page. Then you can switch apps over to Style It and give it some color.